There's the wobble. Oh, and there's the snapback. Oh, wow. Uh, we're dead. I'm gonna let up. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So I bet you're wondering what I meant by the title, Can We Survive in Project Cars 2 with a G920? Well, for anybody who's played Project Cars 2 on a G920 knows that when you get at a higher rate of speed with the G920, it does this whole death wobble, like chatter back and forth thing that almost wants to shake your hands loose or shake the wheel loose. And it sounds like it's going to break. So we're going to do 10 laps in a GT3 Acura NSX on Project Cars 2 in Daytona road course against 31 or 32 other people that are also LMP2, GT4, and I believe some other cars like that that are different classes. And we're going to see if we can survive 10 laps Daytona with a G920 on Project Cars 2 at factory wheel settings. So the force feedback is very rough. It's, I believe it's like 80 or 100%. So we are going to be dealing with that death wobble that is part of uh, Project Cars 2. So we're going to see if we can survive 10 laps. Or if our G920 is going to break. Hopefully it doesn't break. Hopefully we can survive 10 laps without either crashing, dying, and or it breaking. So you, if you guys have played Project Cars 2 before, you guys know it is a very aggressive game. And you got to be really good with throttle and stuff like that. Because you will snap right back and rotate your car really quickly. Otherwise, it is a, uh intense game and a very intense game to drive. So like I said, we're, it looks like we're doing LMPs, GTEs. And uh, other cars like that, I believe we're in GTD, um, in the Acura GT3 car. So, will it survive? Will it break? 10 laps? I don't know. We're about to find out. Hopefully, we don't get involved in the first uh, first turn. So, here we go. Project Cars 2, G920, 10 laps. Hopefully, we can survive and not crash out. We don't have to worry too much about the death wobble yet although it's starting a little bit there but we have to do worry about the first turn fiasco so we're gonna ease up a little bit let these guys kind of sort their way out we got one of the gt4 cars uh in the mix right now he's not supposed to be up here A little late break there. Take the inside. That guy's quick. I don't know. Whoa. A little bit too much throttle there. Almost lost that. So the wheel's starting to click a little bit, as you can hear. It's not crazy yet. But once we get on the back stretch is when it gets really crazy. And that's where it really comes into play. I'm trying to be as clean as possible with these guys. And I'm not sure what... Oh, boy. I'm not sure what it is here on Project Cars 2 with the G920 that is just not not comfortable. I don't know if it's settings or an update because my wheel is fully updated or if they've just given up. So it would be nice to know what fixes it. But uh, we are coming into where you guys will really notice the death wobble. I like to call it there. Oh, geez. As long as I'm turning, we're good. But uh, when I stop turning... Like, there it is. It, it literally wants to shake the wheel out of my hands. Oh, The problem with that is coming into braking. If you... If you're... Oh, boy. If you're so much as turned, the wheel's jittering back and forth under braking, the whole car starts to wobble. And the wheel feels honestly like it's just going to fall apart. I would not recommend doing this on your G920s. Or stuff like that unless you know a fix and if you do know a fix let me know down in the comments we're gonna get a little more wobble here oh jeez you could probably hear my wheel clicking and I know you could see it clicking that's not me doing it that literally is the game ow that literally is the game causing the wheel to go back and forth and I'm using every ounce of my uh my strength to try and keep it from moving but it doesn't work oh Marshall and you're cutting so we were able to get through one lap 
and we haven't completely fallen off pace with the uh, the cars in our class with the GT3 cars. So that's that's a good that's a good start. We're gonna get hit. That Porsche is right up our tail end. I thought he was just gonna smack into me. Oh boy, car's getting a little skinny. Do a little uh. Oh, car starts to slide so much on the throttle, and it still and it has like factory traction control settings for the car, so we're able to survive. Oh jeez. Oh man, come on. Let's keep it together. If I zigzag, maybe it'll help. No, that didn't help. Oh boy. Oh, at least I was able to keep that wheel somewhat straight under braking. I know I cut that grass, but we're okay. We are somewhat surviving. Oh boy, no, don't do that. Oh. Don't start on the turn, that would be really bad. Oh my gosh. I am worried this isn't gonna break. Or my arm my arms are getting a workout right now because I'm having to try and keep it straight, which is also causing me to lose speed on the straight. Which is why this Porsche is able to catch me. Falling behind him. Hard on the brakes. It was actually a nice entry in that turn. Probably could have been a little bit faster, but Project Cars 2 is definitely a very demanding game. What is that guy doing? Apparently he uh, he's having a bad bad day right now. And see, it do also doesn't help that I'm taking my hands off to use my shifter because I don't have paddles. So that's a whole nother reason why this is a little more complicated than it should be. And I just really wish there was a way I knew to fix that. Jeez, oh man. Because this game is so much fun to drive. It's just because of the, the turning rotation of the head, looking towards apexes, the multi-class racing, and just the sheer, I, I guess we would say, sim racing aspect of this game makes this game so much more fun to play. And I just wish the wheel didn't chatter back and forth. I've been trying to find a fix for a very long time since this game came out. I still have not been able to find one. I, I could probably lower the feedback and lower everything, but then it doesn't feel very good. Oh my god. No. Death wobble. No, 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 no. It just makes the game kind of unplayable, I guess you would say. This is a... Uh, this is a workout in my hands for sure. And we're only three laps in. I don't even know if we're gonna make it 10 laps. I'm worried that the wheel's gonna like break on me a couple laps in. I hope it doesn't break. I hope my wheel doesn't break. That would be sad. Oh my God. You could just hear it clicking. Ah. <laughs> so for those who think that I'm actually doing this, for those who have GI20 and do play Project Cars, know that this is not a joke. At all. Oh, Race Marshal, you can be quiet. I mean, we're able to uh, survive pretty much. I have a feeling we're going to have probably LMP2s coming up on us in a lap or so. I just love the helmet view in this game. How it looks apex. That's probably my favorite part about Project Cars 2. That and, like I said, multi-class racing. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Especially if you do have a G920 and you try playing this game. I see those red LMP2s coming through uh, the infield, so they're going to be creeping up on us soon. I'm just trying to survive these laps. My arms are definitely getting tired. Oh, nope. If I, if I zigzag, 
it's okay, but then we're not fast at all. I'm trying to still somewhat be competitive, which it's not working. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Well, that is, uh, that's how you, uh, end that right real quick. It gave a little, uh, little twitch, a little jitter on me, and it, uh, sent me, uh, sent me around. So, we're kind of, uh, at the mercy of this game. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to be able to survive ten laps. Because, uh, this is, uh, Getting a little hairy right now with this, uh, with this wheel. Oof. Oh, we got some LMP2s coming. Either LMP2s or LMP1s. The GTDs are all the way up there. So we're going to get the blue flag here soon for them to let them pass. Fast approaching car. Don't hit me. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to let you guys through. These cars are so much quicker. I have to run up high so let them go by. So, ow. Off the wall. So. Like I said, if you guys happen to know a fix for this, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'd be very curious to see. Oh, God. No. 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 Don't lose it. Oh, my gosh. So that spin out could have been also my fault. <laughs> Not going to lie. But uh, my hands are definitely getting a workout today. Even having two hands on the wheel, it just, if I let go of the wheel, it's gonna snap back and forth, like real quick. Which is insane to me. Oh, see? Nope, I don't wanna go into pits. Oh boy, that's not me doing it, as you can see. Which is sad because this game is just so much fun. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. If you guys like seeing Project Cars 2, hopefully uh, I'll be able to figure something out and we can bring Project Cars 2 back to the channel. Because uh, it is a very fun sim game. Rally games are coming back to the channel as well with Rally 2.0 coming. Forza, as always, Horizon and stuff like that as well. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Ooh. Especially if you play Project Cars 2 and you have this issue as well. I think I, that's pretty much going to do it for us because we're uh, not able to really be competitive in this because of the chattering back and forth on the backstretch. So what I will do before we end this episode, I'm just going to let go of the wheel on the backstretch and show you guys that, uh, well... This is why we can't be competitive here on Project Cars 2. So I appreciate you guys coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. More episodes coming throughout the week with other games. So as always, I like thank you guys for coming back. I'm Evil Rabbit. Oh, oh, we, oh, we dead. Oh, we're really dead. Uh. I'm out.